Hi, welcome to Adma Yosef YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Sanju. This channel is for students, competitive persons and people who are looking for latest job notifications in private and government field sectors. If you visit my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and please like my videos. The very first thing I want to do here is I will give you a complete details notifications of North East Frontier Railway Apprentice notification. Uh, notification for engagement of act apprentice over North Frontier Railway for the year of 2020, 22, 21, 21 to 22 and 22 to 23. Here is the schedule and application. The online application opening date and closing dates are given here. Date of publication of notification on the website is 35 2022 and opening date and time of online application is 1 6 2022 that is 1st ja July 2022 the closing date of online application is 36 22 that is the 30th July sorry 30 June 2022 online applications are invited from eligible candidates for the engagement of act apprentice for importing training under the Apprentice Act 1961. Here the invited the candidates through the online applications. Here is the complete details notification as given here. Don't skip the video. Submitted the online application will be submitted only through online only not offline okay mm, no physical copy of application is required required to send to the RRC, RRC units okay candidate can submit the application online only on official website sir that is www.nfr.indianrailways.gov.in after preparation of merit list, the same will be advised to respective decisions or units on NRF. Document verification will be held on after divisions as per chance. Okay. Mode of selection is given here. Selection will be on the basis of merit list prepared, trade wise and unit wise and community wise. Okay. The merit list in each unit will be prepared on the basis of percentage of marks obtained in the matriculation that is 10th application that is merit list and uh, shortlisted, shortlisted, sorry. merit list is prepared on the basis of percentage of marks secured in the matriculation that is 10th with minimum 50% aggregate marks plus ITI marks in that trade in which apprenticeship is to be done merit list is based on 10th marks plus ITI marks okay panel will be on the basis of average marks of average of marks in the matriculation and ITI okay the purpose of calculation of percentage of marks is marks obtained by the mm -hmm. candidate candidates in all subjects will be reckoned and not on the basis of marks of any subject or group of subjects like best of five okay. candidates uh, must be selected by <coughs> candidates in all subjects will be reckoned not on the basis of only favorite subjects or on particular subjects okay for the purpose of calculation of percentage of ITI marks and average marks mentioned in the consolidated statement of marks for all semesters of trade applied mentioned in the provisional national trade certificate issued by NCVT 
only be reckoned in case of fail or wrong declaration of marks the candidates is liable to cancel if you if you not submitted the proper mark sheet that is long memo you will be liable to be cancelled at any stage of selection okay in case of having same marks in case of tie the candidates with old age shall be preferred first in case of date of birth is also same then the candidates who has matriculation exam earlier shall be considered first okay here is the tie cases given here mm -hmm. okay final merit list will be prepared unit wise trade wise and community wise equal to the number of slots in the descending order of percentage of marks obtained by the candidates as stated above shortlist shortlisted candidates thus enlisted in respective units will be called for document verification to the extent of 1.5 times of the notified vacancies okay final merit list is based on the unit wise trade wise and community wise if you are selected then you will be called for the document verification okay uh, you must submit the original testimonials and you must submit the original certificates at the time of document verification okay uh, during submission of online application a registered mobile number will be issued to each applicant and candidate are advised to preserve or note their registration number for further for the stages of engagement classes or correspondence with rcc okay there is the notes one and two to avoid last minute rush candidates are advised in their own interest to submit an online application much before the closing date to avoid possible inability or failure to log on to the website of rrc and account of heavy load on the internet or website are jammed during last days that is simply i am saying is please submit your application form before 10 days of closing date of online application uh, when last last two days maybe website is busy or server is engaged that is server is down so you have please my suggestion is please submit your online application before the 10 days before the online application closing date okay second notice rrc does not accept any responsibility for the candidates not being able to submit their application within the last date an account of other days reasons for any other reasons rrc is not acceptable or reasonable for responsible not responsible for candidates mistakes okay here is the details units along with the number of slats for apprentice training and address of the units are mentioned under here okay apprentice address of the units and units and workshops are given number of apprentice vacancies are given here okay. units names are given here and the number of apprentice vacancies given here and the address of the units are given here Total vacancies are 5636 six vacancies. No physical copy of application is required to send to RRC. You don't have to, you don't need to submit the online application form also offline. Okay. Apprentices will be engaged in the following trades in the units mentioned below. Here is the vacancies details department wise and category wise. Here is the given first unit wise. 
unit wise in the unit wise here is the department wise and category wise Okay. Second unit is Alipur Dwar unit. Here is the department name. First one is and unit name. Uh, sorry, trade name and vacancies. Community wise vacancies. Here is the another unit is given here The number of training slots shown in this notification are provisional and the same are liable to increase or decrease depending upon the actual needs of administration at the time of final finalization of select, selected list. You, that means number of vacancies are decreased or increased depend upon the requirements and the actual needs of the department administration at the time of finalization of select select list okay eligibility conditions are given here uh, candidates should have completed 15 years of age and should not have completed 24 years of age as an uh, 1 4 2022 upper age limit is relaxable by 5 years in case of SC, SCST uh, three years in case of OBC candidates for persons with a disability upper age limit is relaxed by 10 years age relaxation age, age relaxation is also given to SCST um, by five years and three years for OBC candidates and PWD that is personal with a disability candidates is by 10 years and also additional 10 years for ex servicemen um, defense forces plus 3 years provided candidates who want to avail the benefit of reservation of a cst must upload her cast certificate on the central government format only issued by the appropriate authority according to the annexer one uh, you have to for the way of 
అంటే దట్ ఈస్ అవేల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు అవేల్ అవేల్ ద బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ రిజర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్సీ ఎస్టీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లోడ్ ద క్యాస్ట్ సర్టిఫికేట్ ఇన్ విచ్ ఫార్మాట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ బిలో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అప్లోడ్ ద క్యాస్ట్ సర్టిఫికేట్ అండ్ నాన్ ఫెమిలియర్ సర్టిఫికేట్ ఇష్యూడ్ ఆన్ అది ఆఫ్టర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ వన్ ఫోర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ దట్ ఈస్ క్యాస్ట్ సర్టిఫికేట్ మస్ట్ బీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిసీవ్ ద క్యాస్ట్ సర్టిఫికేట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది వన్ ఫోర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ దట్ మస్ట్ బీ ఎలిజిబుల్ టు అప్లై ఓకే క్యాండిడేట్స్ హూ వాంట్ టు అవేల్ ద బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ రిజర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ సర్వీస్ మెన్ అండ్ ఆర్మ్డ్ ఫోర్సెస్ పర్సనల్ మస్ట్ అప్లోడ్ డిశ్చార్జ్ సర్టిఫికేట్ ఓకే మినిమమ్ ఎడ్యుకేషనల్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ ఇస్ గివెన్ హియర్ ద క్యాండిడేట్ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ పాస్ ఇట్ టెన్త్ క్లాస్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఆర్ ఇట్స్ ఈక్వల్ అండ్ విత్ మినిమమ్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ అ గ్రేట్ ఫ్రమ్ రికగ్నైజ్డ్ బోర్డ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ప్రాసెస్ నేషనల్ ట్రేడ్ సర్టిఫికేట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఐటీఐ ఇన్ ద నోటిఫైడ్ ట్రేడ్ ఇష్యూడ్ బై ద ఎన్సివిటి దట్ ఈస్ నేషనల్ కౌన్సిల్ ఫర్ వొకేషనల్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఆర్ పిసి ప్రొవిజనల్ సర్టిఫికేట్ ఇష్యూడ్ బై ద నేషనల్ కౌన్సిల్ ఫర్ వొకేషనల్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఆర్ స్టేట్ కౌన్సిల్ ఫర్ వొకేషనల్ ట్రైడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎన్సివిటి ఆర్ ఎస్సివిటి copies of mark sheet and pass certificates of matriculation provisional certificates or ntc certified issues in case of iti and iti final mark sheets must be uploaded you have to upload the 10th mark sheet and iti cert iti certificates for more completion of course is not sufficient candidates should have already passed the prescribed qualification on the date of issue of notification and iti pass certificate should be avail available with them okay payment of fees 100 rupees application fees 100 rupees only that is fee payment will have to be made online through payment gateway okay that to be unlocked and once the online application is complete in all respective of rcc candidate candidate will be directed to the payment gateway to make payment okay once payment is successfully done candidate will be redirected to rcc website to complete the application process and download the application form no fees is required to paid by sc st pwd and women candidates okay fees exemption is available to sc scheduled caste and st scheduled tribes and pwd physically physically with disability and women candidates no fees is paid no fee is required to paid okay standards of fitness for the personnel with the disabilities are given here how to apply is we can discuss at the equipment process and how to apply flow online here is the given complete notification and i will explain in this video candidates are required to apply online by visiting the official website that is given here www.nfr.indianrailways.gov.in and candidates are required to log on to the website uh, provided for filling on the application and fill up the personal details bio data etc carefully
and you have to submit the 12 digits other card number okay. candidates should ensure their name father's name and date of birth should be exactly match as recorded in the matriculation or the equivalent certificate okay you must be aware of away while filling the online application form uh, can candidates name and father's name and date of birth exactly match to the matriculation certificate okay. candidates are advised to indicate their active mobile number and valid email ids in the online application and keep them active during the entire engagement process as all important engage important messages will be sent by email or sms which will be treated as deemed to have been read by the candidates okay candidates have to choose only one unit only this is the main condition candidates have to choose only one unit okay candidates trying to submit more than one application with a different particular like name father's name and etc will be rejected application will be summarily rejected okay candidates have to keep printouts of their online application form if found eligible he or she will be called for document verification and the printout of online application is required to produce at the time of document verification okay candidates are required to upload the color photograph scan the signature and soft copies soft copy of image of signature and you have to upload the photograph and mri scan can the kind of later mri documents documents to be uploaded while filling the form is ssc certificate that is tenth certificate and can and certificate for proof of death that is a bona fide or the um, bona fide data but certificate uh, and also iti consolidated mark certificate mark certificate that is you have to submit uh, sorry that is you have to upload the ssc ssc bona fide certificate and the uh, iti certificate and also you have to submit the cash certificate for the sc st obc candidates wherever applicable and also disability candidates in case of pwd candidate and also discharge the service certificate in case of um, ex serviceman quota okay last date for receipt of online application should be uh, given here training period and stipend also prescribed rate as per provision okay no hostel accommodation will be provided and select and selected candidates will have to make their own arrangement during the training process okay agreement of training is given here before commencement of apprenticeship training apprentice apprenticeship training in the design designated trade the selected candidates has to enter into the contract of apprentice training with the following provisions okay where the where the contract of apprentice is terminated through failure on part of part of employee in carrying out the terms and conditions of the contract candidate will be paid apprentice compensation is prescribed it is not obligatory on the part of employer to offer any employment to the past out trade apprentice and completion of period of apprentice training 
ಓಕೆ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಫಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಪರ್ ಅನೆಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸೈನ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಥರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ the form of caste certificate you have to upload is the form of caste certificate for the cst is given here OBC certificate that is cash certificate is given format here yeah? the disability certificate is given here in this format only you have to submit the disability certificate in case of multiple disabilities here is the form in this way you have to submit can submit and upload the form in the application form and while document verification here is the physical tests physical required details here name of the candidates and other details here is the document i mean medical certificate is here is the format is given here here is the medical certificate If you are still not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and the uh, and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and like my video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you